Hey everyone, my name is Ariana and today I'm going to be showing you everything that I have thrifted in New York City this fall. Alright, so to start out, I actually picked these up at a Goodwill in New Jersey, so I know it doesn't really count as being New York, but I thought I'd show them anyway. I got this longer top and I couldn't try it on, so I was thinking I could wear it as a dress and because it has this like kind of trendy cinched detail, but unfortunately it was way too short for me, so I think I'm actually going to cut it in half and make a shirt and a little like bodycon skirt. So I will hopefully have that in the try on clip that I did that, so you can see that. And it's from the brand The Limited. And then one of my favorite pieces that I picked up this fall is this faux leather jacket that's faux fur lined, so it's super warm. And as you probably know, leather is very trendy this fall. So it was awesome to find, I think it was like nine or eight dollars. So it's awesome to find some leather for a very affordable price. And it's also very warm for the winter. And this is from the brand Donna Sailor's Fabulous Furs. Next up, I have this Fila fanny pack. And unfortunately, I do not remember the shop I got it at. I know it was in New York City for sure, but I don't remember the name of it. But this is just kind of like an old school looking sporty bag. It's very practical, um, honestly perfect for thrifting. So you can use both your hands, you don't have to carry a purse. So I've been getting a lot of use out of this and I think it's really cute. All right, the next shop is actually the Salvation Army near the Fort Train. Um, it has a lot of good stuff for very, very cheap prices. So the first thing I got is this cute little gray hoodie that says Babe World Tour. And I think it's from an actual band. I tried to look it up, I couldn't find it. But I just thought it was, it kind of looked like something you could get from like Brandy Melville or something. Like kind of trendy, kind of cute, you can wear it with anything, very comfortable. And I actually did a little thrift flip on this. It had some zippers on the side of it. So I cut them off and reattached the elastic part. And another item that reminded me of Brandy Melville is this little tank top. And it was like $2. It originally was long, I cropped it. Um, and it's just, you know, a cute little tank top. And the next thing I got was this little like sweatery, chunky tank top. And I thought it was kind of similar to a sweater vest in the sense that I could layer it over like a collared shirt or maybe a turtleneck, like very good for layering in the fall. And I've already worn it a couple times, it's super cute. And it's from the brand Genesis. And then the last thing I got from Salvation Army is my favorite thing. And it's this simple white sweater, but it's actually 100% cashmere. And I think I got it for $5. It's from the brand Belinda Robertson. It's incredibly soft. I can't wait to wear it as it gets colder. And I'm really excited about it. All right, next up, you've probably heard of it. The amazing L Train Vintage. So I actually got not one, but two wintry bucket hats. This one is a little more like vintage looking and it has the fur on the outside. I just thought it'd be cute to kind of spice up a winter outfit. And then the second one is this beautiful coach bucket hat and it has the fur on the inside so it's super warm on your head. I've already worn it and it's amazing. I'm so happy I found this. And then another thing I got is this giant Philadelphia Flyers sweatshirt. I am from the Philly area, so I just thought it'd be cute to get a nice oversized sweatshirt that has Philly on it. And I might crop it, I'm not sure yet, because let me see what size it is. Okay, it's a large, so it's, I'm usually a small, so it's very, very oversized, but I really like it and I'm excited to wear it. 
And then another thing I got are these white denim pants. Um, they're from the Liz Claiborne brand and they're a little on the baggier side on me. They're a couple sizes too big for me, but I couldn't try them on unfortunately. So I just usually belt them and go for the more baggy look and it's still super cute. I've already gotten a lot of wear out of these and I expect I will in the future. Last from L Train is this amazing coat. This is by far my favorite thing that I've picked up the enti this entire season. Um, I've been looking for a coat like this for so long on Depop, but I just couldn't, I couldn't make myself commit to the whole not being able to try it on, spending like 50 or more dollars to get like a good quality coat. So I'm so happy I found this for $20 at L Train. It is a vintage Abercrombie and Fitch corduroy jacket that is a little on the long side so it'll be super nice in the winter very warm i think it has it's part wool so even warmer and like i said it was 20 bucks next place i went to is actually the dungo flea market where i got this corset and i bought it from one of the vendors there it wasn't that expensive and it just kind of reminded me of like the 90s i know corsets are very trendy right now and i thought it would look really nice to add to just like a plain long sleeve shirt like this in the fall and winter just to add another element to the outfit. The last place I went to is called Brooklyn Burkhouse Vintage and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite thrift stores. I found a lot of great stuff there. The selection is insane and they have a lot more women's clothes than I usually find in thrift stores. So a lot of like women's jeans, they have really cool vintage denim there and just tons of stuff. And I think they just recently opened this year. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. So the first thing I got were the, are these um, plaid black and white trousers. And they're, they kind of have a more like masculine fit, but they do fit my waist perfectly, which I really appreciate. And they're from the brand Jessica Stevens. Next, I got another pair of pants and they are these kind of more loose fitting corduroys and they're navy. And I think these are actually vintage and I actually think they are made for boys because the tag says progressions for boys. So yep, these are child's pants, but it's fine. Um, they're super cute, super comfortable, and they'll be really warm in the winter because of the corduroy. So I'm very excited that I found these. And then lastly, from Brooklyn Brick House, I got this really nice, like heavy, sturdy flannel from St. John's Bay, that's the brand. And you know, it's a flannel, it's black and white. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of it and it'll be super cute in the fall and winter. So I also thought I should mention a couple things that I got on Depop this fall. Um, the first one are these boots. They're chunky, they're leather, they have more of a square toe, so very like vintage 90s vibes and they're actually supposedly from the 90s. Um, they're seed matted and I really like them. I've already gotten a lot of use out of them and I'm sure I will in the fall and winter. I also got these amazing leather pants from Depop that I unfortunately have not received yet, but I will insert a picture because they are so amazing. I have to mention them and I'm very, very excited to wear them. All right, the last place I shopped in was my father's closet. More specifically, the t-shirts he doesn't want anymore. So this is a charcoal gray t-shirt from the Adirondacks that I guess doesn't like anymore. So I decided to seal it. And then I also got this blue striped Banana Republic t-shirt. So basically I've come to styling my dad's rejects t-shirts, but it's fine. All right, that's everything that I've thrifted this fall. Thank you so much for watching my video and be sure to like and subscribe at Fordham Fashion Collective. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram, also at Fordham Fashion Collective, 
where we post many times a week, almost every single day. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.